Happy preseason Barcelona Soccer Champions Tour United States. It is July 23rd. Barcelona faces off against Real Madrid in Real Madrid's first game since winning Champions League. So props to them for that. Obviously, I'm a Barcelona fan. Obviously, I'm pretty damn optimistic about what's coming up next year or this season. Barcelona versus Real Madrid. And it was Lewandowski's debut game. And they let him play the entire first half. And it was pretty exciting. They started off, obviously it's hard to tell if Xavi is trying, this is going to be a starting lineup or not. You don't really know because there's a lot of heat on the bench. So obviously this is probably not the final starting lineup. But Barcelona literally started with Lewandowski up top, Ansu Fati on the left, Rafinha on the right. Busquets, Pedri, Gavi, Alba, Christensen, Garcia, and Arujo on the right. And, you know, was a little a little tentative about Arujo playing the, the right fullback, but man, he had a great game. And it's, just to let you know how this game went, it was pretty exciting, honestly. Now, we have to all take in consideration that Barcelona does really well versus Real Madrid when they don't have Benzema. Benzema wasn't playing this game, so automatically know it's not Real Madrid, Real Madrid. But either way, the whole point of watching this game was to see what the youngsters could do. This game took place in Las Vegas at Allegiant Stadium, which is the Raiders Stadium. Go Raiders, if you know, you know. This game was pretty exciting. Honestly, there's, I think it was like 65,000 people at Legion Stadium, so they probably sold it out. I mean, there is a fanfare for both these teams, no matter what. It was a hype crowd. It was exciting. It was back-to-back. It was, it was amazing, guys. So if you didn't get a chance to watch it, try to watch it just to see some of the youngsters. Barcelona started out in pressing space fast, really fast. I have to say overall, without really getting into details, because it's just basically a preseason game. Barcelona's defense did great, especially in that first half. I really have to say they played great out of the back. You know, Busquets kind of did a holding uh, center mid position while the youngsters, Gavi and Pedri, just attacked. You see Ansu Fati was getting some balls going. Uh, Rafinha, they seemed a little nervous at first, but I mean, let's be honest here. Like, they're playing against Real Madrid. The youngsters are trying to get it up. Rafinha had a lot. He's very solid, but... He, he wasn't perfect on his one-on-ones in this game, but to be, that's to be understood, honestly. Lewandowski tried a million ways to score. You could tell he wanted to score so much, but he is such a true nine. It's, it's insane. Like, the fact that Barcelona has Lewandowski now with all the speed and all the attack they have, this is going to be an incredible season. Really, it is. Now, when they first started out, you could tell everyone didn't know when they were moving the ball and progressing it up. Some, at the beginning, they were running into each other's spaces, but that happens, right? There were such great opportunities. Uh, I have to say the one goal Rafinha scored, it was a misplay by the defense of Real Madrid. They centered it to him right above on the right side of the 18-yard box. But let me tell you, Rafinha's goal was savage. I mean, he blasted it, top right corner, and you know, Coutois is a very good goalie. So for him, nobody could get there, but it was such a blast. It was also a gift. But whatever. Barcelona wins this game 1-0 because of that missed feed out the back from Real Madrid. But it doesn't mean Rafinha had to hit it, right? I saw some really great balls too. Like there was a situation where Pedri stole the ball, hit it right over to Ansu Fati. It went a little wide. It's okay. It's okay. Um, not a big deal. You know, from the 26th minute on, Rafinha scored. Barcelona took the, the advantage. Never lost it. Never lost it. But still, with Barcelona pressing high, I have to, another, some standouts I have to say, I think, first of all, Arujo on the right side, he was played great. I wasn't sure what this would be like with him on the right fullback, but he did great. I have to give him a lot of credit. I really do. I was pretty excited. And this Barcelona offense is fast. If that is something you've not been always able to say. This Barcelona offense is fast. javi has got them moving the ball inside out. The touches were great. The movement was good. The spacing was awesome. They were breaking lines. Pretty exciting, but they also started to get the small passes in order to suck in the defense and then exploit it. At halftime, they did a lot of, I mean, tons of subs, right? Put back in Obama Yang for Lewandowski. Uh, you put in 
Well, actually, let's just be honest. Memphis Depay got in. There was a lot of movement, but let me just highlight some of the second half items. So in the second half, after they got it up, you saw a different game, a little bit sloppier, but all the same, you could see the power of both of these teams and also Barcelona's depth. That's what it really showed was that there was a significant depth. Memphis Depay, did a, he had a lot of free kicks, you know, got a lot of... He got a, a free kick outside of the box, and instead of shooting it, which he thought he was, he played a smart ball inside the box for somebody else to shoot it. You know, unselfish ball, which we love. Um, there was a handball on the box in Real Madrid. That we, Barcelona should have got a penalty, but whatever. It's preseason. The hits were hard. Nobody was taking it easy. It was an exciting game to watch. You could tell, too, that Real Madrid in the second half, they put... Um, so... Modric came in and Modric and Cruz, which solidified the middle much better. You could tell when they put them in, they were able to, Real Madrid was able to compose the middle a lot. They had Cruz sitting pretty solid in the middle, and Rakitic was exploiting our left fullback sub when Jordi Alba went out. So you could see him running up the right line, and, and it was pretty impressive. Luckily, they didn't score, but it is what it is. Now, PK was getting booed like crazy. Obviously, when your ex wife or your wife in the middle of getting divorced, you know, uh, had hips that didn't lie, you know, America, Las Vegas, party town is going to roast, especially because Real Madrid fans were probably 50-50 with Barcelona. Frankie de Jong was actually, as a sub, as a, as a center back, I thought he did a really good job. I, I've always kind of, I know people didn't like Frankie de Jong playing in the back because they know that he's so powerful in the middle and obviously he's going to be the heir apparent to Busquets, but as a center back... I wouldn't be surprised if he beat out either Garcia or Christian. Well, maybe not Christian. He looked pretty solid. But either way, he's a viable option or a sub for Busquets in the center, the holding center mid. Uh, it, it was pretty exciting. Memphis Depay did have a couple. He looked a little off. He had a couple open shots. He kind of missed those. Coutois, probably, other than Rafinha, in my opinion, probably the player of the game, had the most saves. He had, he had a lot of saves. He had Dembele on the right side. Oh, so one other thing that was curious, Xavi subbed out on Sufati, but he switched Rafinha, who was playing on the right wing, he switched him to the left, put Dembele on the left, and I, I wonder if that's also to give him options, like, are we able to run Dembele on the right, Rafinha on the left, I, want, I think he wants to see what he has, right, because both those players have speed, so you probably, well, so does Ansu Fati, but imagine that you have a player that, regardless of your top three, you need speed on the outside. Lewandowski is not the fastest guy, but he showed that he is willing to get back on defense. He's willing to make plays, and he's just got this way of turning defenders and then breaking away. So, super excited. If you guys didn't get a chance, watch the game. But for the most part, obviously, it's a throwaway game. America, we love the fact that we had a Classico. Even if it's a preseason, not all player Classico here. Raider Nation is grateful to have them there. Talk to everyone soon. I think all Barcelona fans have a lot to look forward to. But at the same point in time, Real Madrid, they're just different with Benzema on the field. Talk to everyone soon, man. I hope everyone's life's going well. Talk to you soon.